Yo guys, what's going on? It's Tarek the Locker Kid back with another video, and today we're hanging out with Ethan Hammond. What's going on, Ethan? Not much, Henrik. How are you? I'm doing good. So me and Ethan, we just got some steak, and then he drove me over to his barn, his shop, and we're going to review this awesome equipment. We're hanging out over in my neck of the woods, about yeah. an hour and a half away from him. So. Yeah, so I drove up, we grabbed some dinner, and now uh, we're filming a video. He's got a sweet setup. He's got a bunch of John Deere skag uh, and steel. Uh, I think that's what he runs. So he's going to give you a quick rundown. So... You want to go over your handheld stuff first? Yeah, sure. So, um, my name is Ethan. We're we're based out of Okemos, Michigan. Um, but our shop's in Bath, so it's about 20 minutes. We're up by uh, Lansing, so about the capital of Michigan. But, um, you know, we we run about 70 accounts. Going to expand more this year, of course. But um, just in the off season, we got some some time to to mess around. So um, we're going to give you guys the shop tour. So starting off, I have a steel hs56 uh it has a 24 inch bar for trimming uh hedges hostas stuff like that it's our go-to trimmer um it is about as nice as you can get uh we have a combi extension this right here is a rototiller for that combi uh we put all of our uh all of our combi attachments up on some pegboard and then uh we got like this metal track or whatever but i ran everything into the studs so you know it's not gonna fall on the wall but we run echo black diamond that's the only thing echo you will see in this entire video i guarantee it um we got forestry helmets these are super nice very safe it's always good to have ppe when you're cutting shit down um we run steel everything steel for a handheld so we got a km 131 this is a fs 111 rx and then a fs 91 so those are those and then we run uh the bottom shovels those are very nice um and then making it over. Yeah, speaking of these boss shovels, I uh, I have the same ones, and they're awesome. So if you guys need any shovels, get the boss shovels. They're sweet. Not the man plow. Um, but anyways, we got we got some uh, steel VR800Xs. Uh, these are probably going to be phasing out these two other ones we got. Uh, we got a steel VR600 and then a, a VR800C. That's a side start. Um, we got the combi bristle brush. Um, let's just make some more room. We're ready. But, um, this is kind of like our shop wall. So we got like everything from hitches, clothes, backpack sprayers, chainsaws, and everything miscellaneous is here. So we got uh, extra sets of blades, pruners, saws, chainsaws. We're rocking an MS251 with an 18 inch bar. That's a our smaller saw and then we have a ms 400 c with a 20 inch bar um so if you can see that but um moving on to the bottom we have like two stroke oil you know extra sprayers uh ear stuff um got tool bag and you know everything you can get then we have our fuel stored on the bottom we like to keep it up up higher because you know you can't you can't get um you know watering your fuel um in here we keep like different types of oil and stuff so i haven't really cleaned it out we've only been in here for about four months so i haven't thoroughly gotten to clean it all out but you know it's just kind of kind of what what happens um but yeah like we got a bunch of woodworking stuff that's kind of like my grandpa's stuff over there this is my grandparents barn that we're basically running out of and uh, before we get into all the cool mowers and stuff, you're you're 16, right? Yeah, 16. 16 years old, and uh, you got you got Instagram. Oh yeah. Uh, so go so, check them out. Hammond Landscape on Instagram, uh, Facebook too. Um, but I'll be most active on on uh, Instagram. Yeah, he's got so. some cool t cool content. He's always posting stuff on his stories. So yep. go yep. check him out. But yeah, you want to start going over these cool cool mowers? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I guess we'll start off with some snow blowers. Sure, sure. More little stuff. Uh, this is a Toro 721RC. I picked that up uh, two winters ago. It's been a pretty, pretty uh, nice snowblower, but recently we picked up this Honda uh, HS720. Uh, it's been nice. The, you know, having it up here is nice for uh, snow blowing special driveways that they don't want like the, the snow plow going over it. But when you get up close to like someone's um, retaining wall or something that you kind of have to have to work with that extra um, length of the handle. Um, 
So, but kind of moving on over to uh, the biggest thing in the barn is this is 1987 John Deere 430. It has a 20 horsepower Yanmar three cylinder diesel. Um, I picked this up um, of June 2020, and then I recently have sold half of it, so it's a shared tractor. I my grandpa bought the other half, so it's 50% ownership. Um, but I guess let's move into some of the uh, the real equipment here that makes all the money. Um, so first of all, you know you guys probably already saw all this orange. What ma what made you go with Skag? Um, so I ran Xmark and I ran Toro. Wasn't really happy with both of them. Now Xmark it was a star, so I mean it's fitting. But um, yeah, so I had this Toro. It was a 2020 Z Master 2000. Had about 250 hours on it, and really. For how new that machine was, there were a lot of problems with it. So I uh, was able to make enough money and kind of trade off and get into some newer stuff. Cool, Better cool. Stuff. And, uh, you know, I had that Turf Tiger, Turf Tiger 2, and that was a great mower. Never had any issues with it, but I sold it just to, you know, get that money flowing back into the business and, you know, try out some new equipment. But, yeah, Skag makes good equipment. Uh, but, yeah, show us what you got. All right. So this is the first 37 EFI on a 52 in the tri-county area so i'm told but uh this is uh these are all 2022s this is our 52 with a 37 horsepower blake block uh on a vanguard or whatever and we have a leaf plow bracket on it we run the jerko which you guys will see later um but then moving on we have uh our biggest mower it's a 61 inch v-ride 2 and then this thing has the 38 and a half horsepower Cowie FX 1000. Um, yeah, that that's a that's a big big mower or a big engine on a mower like this. Uh, yep. And uh, you know you bought these in the fall, correct? Yep. Uh, and I'm assuming you haven't put too too many hours on it, but you know what do you what do you think of this engine? So far, this engine has been really good for uh, the fall fall grass um, everything like that. But I've been very impressed with this 52. Um, I took this out on an overgrown lawn. It was about a foot tall, hasn't been mowed in about a month. It was very, it was bright and early that morning. It was about 8 a.m. that we got started. And this thing threw grass, no clumping at all. Because the thing with the Skag Dex, 18 inches of discharge, where your Toro and X mark, you're only gonna get about 14 inches. So having that extra four inches, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, you know, it helps. I mean, your, your girl might tell you the same thing. So. Exactly, exactly. Um, so going on, we'll, we'll get, we'll see the, uh, this is the windstorm. So this is our big money maker for the fall. We're in an area where there's a lot of hundred year old oaks that drop a lot of leaves. I mean, a lot of leaves. So this thing uh, is equivalent to about six BR800s over there uh and this has the 37 horsepower big block vanguard on it too um been and you, you don't see a whole lot of these i mean people really haven't been getting into the stand on blowers just yet but, but what do you think um so we're the third company that has ever bought one in the in the area and um so far it makes sense crunch the numbers it was a big choose it was big pill to swallow it was about 11 four out the door so this thing has made its money back already and um so i don't know like you get you get thinking about it this thing is equivalent to six backpack blowers so there's thirty four hundred dollars you know already put towards this thing then you got your employees one guy rather than six and it goes eight miles an hour i mean let's be honest here people this thing isn't going to be calling in sick hung over got their girlfriend pregnant last night having to go around and get a plan b you know what I mean? Like, it just makes sense. You know, buy this and kind of like all your problems get, get taken away, but I don't know. So what do you think? Should, should I should I get one of these? I think you should. I think for your fall cleanup, this is going to be a, a very good. All right. Well, you guys uh, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Maybe uh, we'll demo one of those and see how it goes. Yeah. Um. So moving on, we got this 36 back here. This is... um. Only has about 0.7 hours on it. We haven't even cut any grass with it. Um, but we just basically putts around it around the shop, just kind of test it out and stuff like that. But so far, I mean, I have mowed with it, so I don't really have that good of an understanding on it. But 
Um, it should handle grass like a champ. Are there uh, are there a lot of you know gated properties around here, or a few that you service um, that you needed such a some small machine for? We have about ten percent of our properties are gated. They're bigger backyards, but they're also uh, you know smaller gates. Um, so we we had to throw down for this. We had an X Mark Metro, um, but this is just going to make us instead of going three miles an hour, go you know eight or more. So it's it's definitely it's quite the. Quite the mower, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a cool little machine. Um, one thing I like about the Skags is if you look over this way, there's that wear guard on that deck, and that, that helps it so that it doesn't get scratched up and everything like that. Um, moving on, this is kind of my pride and joy. This is a 1973 John Deere 112. Um, it doesn't get used much anymore, but when I was putzing around my neighborhood, this thing got, got me everywhere. But... It's fully restored. Me and my grapple took about two years to restore it. And um, yeah, so it's it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a cool little tractor you got. So it it doesn't do much except stay in here and maybe haul a uh, load of firewood or something. Um, but I guess we'll make our way over to the tools. Sure, sure. Um, so, you know, usually we, we, try, we keep ourselves in pretty good condition. Um, so. And then remember, guys, this is just his, you know, mowing stuff. Uh, wait till we go outside. We'll check out his awesome Chevy 2500. And then uh, it's cool if we go check out that plow as well. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, so I guess, I don't know, you got, you got uh, the best present, but, you know, that's kind of, please forgive me, customers. But, you know, you got Allen wrenches, other stuff like that, just miscellaneous stuff, you know. You ever got to lay down the law and someone got that. Got that three inch blade. It's actually legal to have this, but don't tell the cops. You know, we got other stuff like sockets, ratchets. Yeah, the stuff you need. You know, this will be used to rip off some mower blades. That, that's a little overkill, but well, I'm sure it gets it done. Oh yeah, she gets it done. <laughs> you know, and then you just got a bunch of other stuff. The thing with these skags is everything's greasable. So uh, I had this before I bought it, but having a good grease gun is, um, very important so we rock the uh the milwaukee electric grease gun but um yeah so now we'll head out outside and um kind of we'll take a look so so it is dark but uh you know we're doing what we can yep. so this is uh ethan's awesome truck it is a 2007 chevy 2500 classic it's a cat eye um it is you know it's a pretty bad a truck for uh, what it is. We can start it up. Sure. It's, it's a gasser. It's not. It's not Dury Max, but. Um, so he's, he's got. Lights. He's got it all pimped out. He's got the big, you know, amber light bar up top, and then he's got the, you know, nice reverse lights back there. Yeah. So these are buyers. Uh, they're eight thousand lumens each. Um, they really light the place up if you want to pan down that way. Way brighter in person, uh, like I told all the girls, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Yeah, and um, then you got some nice logos on your truck. I like that. Oh, yeah. But so as we, we can make our way down to our trailer, we have a PJ 7x22 um, trailer. It's, it's pretty nice for everything that we rock. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Careful, it's icy. Um, <laughs> but follow me on Instagram. You can see this trailer with all the all the mowers on it. But it's kind of there's nothing really to see. It's just uh, you know. Yeah, that's a pretty cool trailer. And actually, uh, if you guys saw my last video, we actually picked up a trailer. So this is a 22 foot, correct? Yep. Uh, I got the 20 foot. Um, same thing. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I don't know if it's the same axles and everything, but you know, pretty much, you know, same thing. It's the PJ, uh, and so far I like it. I haven't really used it, but yeah. So this is a, it has a dovetail. I mean, we can walk over to it, but we probably won't see it, see it too well. But uh, it is a dovetail, so it's 20 feet to right here, and then you got a two foot dovetail, and then you have your heavy duty skid steer ramps, uh, kind of like just off of equipment hauler, but um, yeah. So I mean, it's. It's been a good trailer for us so far. Um, haven't had any issues with it, you know, except PJ and their paint quality is always, you know, right there on the money. But yep, yep. 
Yeah, so I mean, we can go check out. I mean, we could go check out this plow if you want. But... Sure, sure. So, yeah, we can go over that real quick and then we yeah. can uh, wrap it up. Well, there. I mean, there's more stuff. There's more? Yeah, there's more. All right, well. But, yeah, we're doing this kind of kind of real real talk. Uh, Seven o'clock at night. Yep, so it's yep. dark. But this is this is the plow that came on the truck. It's a Meyer uh, Super V eight and a half V plow. Nothing fancy. Gets the job done until I can buy a DXC next year. So or this year, this fall. Yep. So, um, yeah, we'll just quickly speed walk over to this uh, to our other place and you know, then we'll button this up. So sure. But. Yeah, I like this truck. I'm I'm in the market for another truck for my workers, something similar to this single cab Chevy. Yeah. Um, so I might get something, Good you know, trucks. So this something is, like that. We got like, this is kind of like junk, or not junk, but like miscellaneous stuff. We got some trees growing up. We gotta, gotta cut those down. But we just, a little backstory on this barn. We kind of just like came in here, and didn't really have much time to clean everything up. We were mainly working on the backside or the inside, just kind of cleaning everything up. but. We're gonna we're gonna be working on the outside a lot, landscaping and everything like that. Um, but we got wheelbarrows right here. This is a 1943 Ford 9N uh, fixer upper, but it is for sale. Anyone want it? Three thousand dollars cash. Um, in here we got you know kind of a little bit of everything. This is the leaf plow for the for that 52. Uh, I got some aliens out here, I guess. Um, but this is a January 170. This is also for sale. It has a 38 inch lower deck on it. The rest of the shit's just kind of, the wind got this tent, so it's kind of broken. <laughs> um, as you can see right there and right there, legs are gone, whatever. I'm gonna get a new tent or a new building. I don't know, but you know, so this is just kind of like extra storage. Maybe, you know, when we get a new tent. And this, is this the original trailer here? Yeah, so yeah, this that's is, pretty cool. This was the original trailer and this was actually the original tent too. We moved this thing. About. Yeah or three times but. so you can really see he's been making some some purchases and some upgrades yeah came from came from a tarp tent and uh just putzing around the neighborhood with some some lawnmowers to what we got rocking right now and it's, yeah it's, i mean you know ethan uh he's, he's came a long way from you know from the beginning and you know anybody can do this i mean you guys you guys see me i mean i've grown my business quite a bit and uh ethan's 16 as well so it's definitely doable so you guys like i said you guys just got to stay motivated dedicated you got you got any quick tips really quick ethan uh just know your pricing um if, if someone says oh i have a guy that can do it cheaper unless it's like a very valuable account which i mean most of the time if it's like commercial stuff you know sometimes you just gotta swallow that pill but a lot of the times if it's if it's not you know something where you can make money on it just skip over it like it's it's not the end of the, end of the deal. There's enough work out there. Yep, yep, yeah. And nowadays, you know, like Ethan just said, there's plenty of work out there. So keep your prices high, stay profitable, make money. Yep. But uh, is this all you got? You know, ready to wrap it up? Um. Yeah. So just. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Like it. like a, like we said earlier, go follow him on Instagram, Ham and Landscape. Ham and Landscape on Instagram. Yeah. Go check him out. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. You know, he's pretty cool setup. Maybe uh, you'll hop on YouTube one of these days. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been I've been trying to get on there, but you yeah. know how it is. All right. Well. Uh, awesome. All right. Cool. See ya. See ya.